Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. As you know, CBSE has issued guidelines to promote art integrated education and to make students aware about the vast and diverse cultural heritage of our country, India. So today, in this video, we will learn about state Meghalaya and you will find lot of ideas on how to create Art Integrated Project on Meghalaya. Aim of this Art Integrated Activity is to understand the people, culture, history, population, geography, climate, dances, dresses, food, religious places, heritage sites and other famous places to visit in Meghalaya. Meghalaya, also known as Abode of Clouds, is a state in northeastern India. Meghalaya was formed by carving out two districts from the state of Assam, the United Khasi Hills and Jantia Hills, and the Garo Hills. It extends for about 300 kilometers in length and about 100 kilometers in breadth. Now let's learn about history of Meghalaya. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Before attaining full statehood, Meghalaya was given semi-autonomous status in 1970. The Khasi, Garo and Jantia tribes had their own kingdoms until they came under British administration in 19th century. Later, British incorporated Meghalaya into Assam in 1835. At the time of Indian independence in 1947, Present-day Meghalaya constituted two districts of Assam and enjoyed limited autonomy within the state of Assam. Meghalaya attained statehood on 21st January 1972 with a legislative assembly of its own. Let's see Geography of Meghalaya The state of Meghalaya is located in between Bangladesh in the south and the Brahmaputra Valley in the north. Meghalaya consists of the Garo, Khasi and Jantia Hills. Meghalaya Plateau's elevation varies between 150 meters to 1965 meters above sea level. The highest point of the entire state is the Shillong Peak. The rivers form an important part of the geography of Meghalaya. Simsang is the largest river in the Garo Hills and it is navigable only for about 30 km. Next is Climate of Meghalaya. The climate of Meghalaya is moderate but humid with average annual rainfall as high as 1,200 cm in some areas, Meghalaya is the wettest state of India. The Shillong area experiences low temperature. The maximum temperature rarely goes beyond 28 degrees, whereas winter's temperature of sub-zero degrees are common.
Chirapunji in the Khasi Hills, south of capital Shillong, holds the world record for most rain in a calendar month. Next is population of Meghalaya. Meghalaya is basically an agricultural state with about 80% of its total population depending entirely on agriculture for their livelihood. Tribal people make up the majority of Meghalaya's population. The Khasis are the largest group followed by the Garos then the Jentias. With 75%, Meghalaya is one of the three states in India to have a Christian majority. Hindus are the largest religious minority in Meghalaya with 11% of the state total population. Now let's learn about languages of Meghalaya. English is the official language of the state. The principal spoken languages of Meghalaya are Khasi, Garo and Jentia. Next is People and Culture of Meghalaya. The majority of the population and the major tribal groups of Meghalaya follow a matrilineal system where lineage and inheritance are traced through women. The youngest daughter inherits all the property and she is the caretaker of aged parents and any unmarried siblings. Now, let's learn about Famous places to visit in Meghalaya. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share, and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. First famous place to visit in Meghalaya is Cherapunji. It is regarded as one of the wettest places on earth as the highest rainfall is foreseen here during the year. Banthalan, Kinram and Nokhali Kai waterfalls are the popular waterfalls of Cherapunji. Balpakram National Park is a national park in the south of Garo Hills. Tourists often compare this place to the Grand Canyon in the USA. This park is home to one of the rarest animals in the world, which is the Lesser Panda or it is known as the Red Panda. Next famous place is Shillong, which is the capital of Meghalaya. Shillong is also known as Scotland of the East. It is a hill station. Next is Elephant Waterfalls. It is located in Shillong. It got its name as it has the elephant-like stone at its foot. Now let's see the next famous place which is Double Decker Living Root Bridge. It is situated in Cherapunji and this bridge is famous as it is made up of roots of an Indian rubber tree. Umshiang River flows beneath this bridge. It is the oldest natural bridge made around 200 years ago but only 50 people can be accommodated on it at one time. Next is Kelang Rock. 
somewhere in the range of 78 km away from Shillong, an extraordinary giant rock is made out of red stone. This Kelang rock is situated in the West Khasi Hills of Meghalaya. Next famous place is Molinong village. This village is also referred as God's own garden. The village has won the acclaim of being the cleanest village in Asia. It is located in the East Khasi Hills of Meghalaya. Next is Nokhali Khai Waterfalls. It is the world's fourth highest waterfall. It is located near Cherapunji. This waterfall is the tallest waterfall in India. Now let's see the next place which is Dokki. Dokki is a small border town along the India Bangladesh border. The main highlight of this place is Dokki River. Water of the river is so clear that the boats floating on it look like as if they are on the crystal glass surface. Located at the outskirts near the national border is this enchanting waterfall known as Bor Hill Falls. This waterfall is also called as Bob Hill Falls. Now let's learn about famous religious places to visit in Meghalaya. First religious place to visit in Meghalaya is Nathyang Durga Temple. It is located in West Jantia Hills district. It is one of the 51 Shakti Peets in India. It is believed to be the site where the left thigh of Goddess Sati fell after her dead body was cut into 51 pieces by Lord Vishnu. Next religious place is Mary Help of Christians Cathedral. which is located in Shillong. It is one of the most beautiful churches of Meghalaya. And it is one of the largest churches in Asia. Next is Madina Mosque. It is the largest of all the mosques in Northeast India. It is also the first and only glass mosque in the country. Now let's learn about heritage sites to visit in Meghalaya. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel then do like share and comment on our videos. Also do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. The most famous heritage site of Meghalaya is Nathyang Monoliths. These are usually flat stones erected in the upright position. The site has been declared of national importance in the year 1958. Monoliths are the symbol of remembrance in the Jantia Hills. Now let's learn about famous traditional dances of Meghalaya. First is Wekking dance. Next is Shad Nongkrem dance.
After that, it is do the geta dance. Then, Pomilo dance. And last is Laho dance. Now let's learn about traditional festivals of Meghalaya. First traditional festival is Shad Sukman Sam. Next festival is Nongkram. Next is Behadin Khalam. Then Shad Sukra Festival. After that, there is Bangla Festival. And the last one is Strawberry Festival. Now let's see traditional food items of Meghalaya. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Famous food items of Meghale are Jodo, Nakam Bikchi, Doklei, Pumaloi, Bamboo shoots and momos. Now let's learn about traditional dresses of Meghalaya. For women of Meghalaya, the traditional costume is called as Jansen. This unstitched garment is made of mulberry silk and is worn around the body. The women of Garo tribe wear a blouse along with a handmade lungi called Dakmanda. And women of Khasi tribe wear a Jensen along with a blouse. Women Belonging to Jentia tribe, wear a velvet blouse and an ankle-length sarong. They also wear a unique gold pendant. Now, let's see traditional dresses of men. Men belonging to Garo tribe wear a loin cloth as their traditional dress. While the men of Khasi and Jentia tribe wear a long cloth around their waist which is unstitched. 
So this was all about stage mega layer. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.